awful, stupendous. One might even go so far as to say he's mediocre. I give you that paragon of pep and personality, Sleepy Lagoon. Greetings, one and all. Sleepy Lagoon signing on. We have returned from our interstellar journey. Interstellar Overdrive was an absolute trip to the cosmos. I can tell you that for sure. <laughs> and uh, the tail end of it actually went into this next song, The Gnome. So, oh, excuse me for that. <laughs> and so, I'm going to start in the final 10 or 20 seconds of Interstellar Overdrive, just to get that feel of going into it. These next few songs look like some crazy, like, like picture book-esque epics. We got the gnome, the scarecrow, bike, chapter 24. We got some crazy stuff ahead of us, so let's get into it. I didn't count it in, sorry. <laughs> but we're going right into it. This is the, I don't think I mentioned him, this is the engine shutting down of the spaceship. You see, we go right into it. The gnome. I want to tell you a story. Lyrics. About a little man, if I can. A gnome named Grimble Crumble. Grumble. And little gnome. Stay in their homes Eating, sleeping, drinking their wine He wore a scarlet tunic A blue-green hood It looked quite good He had I bet it a did. big adventure sure. Amidst the grass Fresh air at last Whining, dining, biding his time. What a nice little yeah. gnome. One day, hooray, another way for gnomes to say. That was eerie. Isn't it good? Look at the sky, look at the river. Isn't it good? Winding, finding places to go. And then one day. It was a nice little simple song after Interstellar Overdrive, but I like that. We I want to tell you a story about a little man, if I can. I like that. I like that. It's very like, a, a, I mean, how he he goes, I want to tell you a story. You know, it's like telling, telling you a story. I liked it. Very playful. <laughs> but then, then we got to say another way. No, and then one day, hooray, another way for gnomes to say, Ooh, my. <laughs> that, the way he did that, it had like such a, such a, a strange feeling, like such a strange little unsettling thing. <laughs> I loved it. It was terrible. It was terrible. And then I think from here, look at the sky, look at the river. He was singing. It reminded me of Kevin Ayers, if you've ever heard him, who I know Sid Barrett was good friends with him. It reminded me of, of that. Um, uh, he was singing 
in like the middle or left channel, but then the right channel, he was whispering. He was whispering the lyrics. And that was, oh, after the oh my, that, that, that was like, oh my gosh. It's like, that's a little creepy. It's a little creepy. <laughs> oh my gosh. I liked that. I liked that though. I always say to my friends, uh, I could do aliens. I could do ghosts. The one mythical thing that sort of creeps me out is elves or gnomes. That sort of creeps me out. I don't know. I don't like that concept. I don't like that. <laughs> like, think about it. Think about little men, little people, like tiny, like, like that. It's weird. <laughs> it's scary. Because then they're just running around doing their thing. That's Or fairies like that. Like, I don't know. Mm. I liked it, though. It was like a little British picture book. A little story time. With a hint of... Hint of, like, playful danger. <laughs> it's just so playful. I don't know. I don't know what you would call it. But I liked it. That was, It was a very fun, like, uh, playful sounding song. And the way he sang it, I liked that. I liked that a lot. It was a good breather after Interstellar Overdrive. <laughs> well, we have three songs left on the album, The Piper at the Gates of Dawn. I hope you will join me. If you'd like to, please subscribe. Please give me a like, because I have so much music I want to listen to. If you have any songs or artists you would like me to uh, try and check out, Write it in the comments. I, I can't promise everything, but I will promise whatever I could do. And so, I will see you next time. Sleepy Lagoon, signing off. Ooh, those gnomes. <laughs>